44 gang, what's going on? It's your boy Hemi Life 44 back with another banging video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and browse. We're going up our 2022. Well, the rest of 2022. I'm gonna get it right in a minute. I keep saying our 2022. When I took a break this year, but it's okay because I'm back. I'm back dropping exclusive videos. You know what I mean? As y'all can see behind me. Y'all see what this is. For those that don't know, this is a 2021 AMG GT63. So without further ado, man, we're going to get right into the video. First off, let me say this. This car, when I first seen this car, right? When I first seen this car, like, <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm say it right off the jump. This is by far, and I'm going to say by far, this is by far one of the best Benzes I've ever seen in my life. Now, this is my opinion. You know what I mean? This is me, how I like the vehicle. To me, this is one of the best vehicles I have ever seen in my life. As far as the whole setup, as far as the whole, you know, everything about this car, man, is 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 crazy. I can't say enough about it, man. This car, look at this car. I want y'all to really get a good look at this vehicle, man. This is an amazing vehicle. We're gonna walk all the way around this car, all the way around it. Look at this. Come on now, look at this vehicle. You can't tell me this is not a masterpiece. Like, look at this. Everybody might not agree, but me personally, this is like, I would spend a bad, like whatever they want for this car, I would pay it. You know what I mean? This car is amazing, man. This car is amazing. So let's speak, let's speak on the, some of the the unnoticeable things about this vehicle. What you don't notice by looking at it is how much horsepower it is, obviously. I mean, but if you know the car, you know how much horsepower it is. If you're familiar with these cars, you know how much they are. They're between 575 and 630, you know what I mean? But this one, to be exact, is around 900 horsepower. <laughs> so this one is not the, this is not your, your, your everyday GT63. This one is close to 900 horsepower. And man, it is extremely fast. I just rode in it. I didn't drive it. I just rode in it on the way over here. And the, the, the salesman that drove it over here, which I will be driving it back, so y'all stay tuned for that. But the salesman that drove it over here, man, he he really showed me the power in this thing. I'm not going to lie. But uh, let's speak on this front, man. If y'all remember my last video when I reviewed the BMW M8, I was telling y'all about how, how much I like front ends and this. And I was saying... It was another car that I was gonna review that has a massive front end, a crazy front grille, and this is that car. Look at that. That it just it looked like a shark. You know what I mean? <laughs> it looked like a shark, man. That is a that is crazy. You can't tell me that grill is not crazy. And these actually functional, these open and close for breathing, these open and close. You see the mouth right there, y'all see what's behind it. You know what I mean? Self-explanatory. Y'all see that? Y'all see it behind there? Come on now. And then these actually have dual headlights, so both of these headlights work. You also have the AMG right here. Now I know what AMG stands for, but I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> it's almost like three words that I can't pronounce. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I know what it stands for, but I just can't pronounce it. You have a camera right here. You got your sensors right here in the. They in the grill. You got them right here. These wheels. Now these are not factory wheels. These are aftermarket wheels. The owner of this vehicle put these wheels on her. And matter of fact, the reason why the owner of this vehicle is selling this vehicle is because it was too fast for her. It was a, a lady owns this. It's too fast for her. So <laughs> she brought it up to the dealership, asked them, can they get rid of it for her? Because it's too fast for her. And she's I I do believe that because like I said, I just rode in it. But whoever put this vehicle together done an amazing job because these wheels really set this car off and i don't know if y'all can tell how wide these wheels are but let me give y'all the numbers on them these are 335 25 22s anybody that know a 335 tire is wide see how wide that tire is can y'all see that that is ex that's extremely wide that's crazy the exhaust you got amg amg you know amg they they put they AMGs on the exhaust like this. You know what I mean? They do that. 
You also have GT63 right here, AMG back here, and you have this functional wing. There's a button on the inside that let this wing up and down. They don't stay like that at all times. That's actually functional. We're gonna pop the trunk. As y'all can see, they want all of this looking good, smooth. You know, no extra unnecessary buttons and stuff like that. So they put the trunk button underneath. You hit this right here, trunk pops up. And one thing I do want to mention about this vehicle, even though this is a four-door car, this is a coupe. You know what I mean? This is not a sedan. This this car was built on a on the frame of a coupe. So this is this this one reason why it looks so mean because you're looking at it like it's a sedan, it's a four-door car, but it's not. It's not a sedan. <laughs> it's a four-door coupe. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all understand what I'm saying. It's a four-door coupe. You know what I mean? And I forget to mention, like I showed y'all the last on my last uh on the BMW review, where I was telling you it was slotted and drilled. Well, the BMW only had uh, drilled rotors, but this one has drilled and slotted. As you can see, that's slotted right there. So for those that didn't know, that's what slotted is. Those are drilled, obviously, but you know, big caliber, six pistons, stop all this power. You know, you gotta have it. V8 by turbo in red. Y'all know what that mean. Y'all know what that mean. You got the signal lights on the outside, which is, you know, that's kind of that's kind of uh, expected on cars like this. Once again, another gas tank on the right side. I told y'all before, I've never owned a vehicle with the gas tank on the right side ever. But this is the second time I don't review two vehicle two vehicles back to back. You know what I mean? And you hardly ever see it like this. It's normally on the left hand side. But then you have your mats, AMG mats, AMG on all the mats, and you got I mean you got you got a lot of space back here. You got a lot of space back here, a lot of space. You know what I mean? You got speakers even back here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the, I forgot the name of this, this speaker um, that looked like the, the. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna try it and then we're gonna try to get it right. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see if I'm gonna get it right. Then we're gonna, we're gonna check. Um, it looked like uh, Bur Burmeister or something like that. I forgot how you said it, but I think that's what that is. We're gonna, we going to see, but you know what I mean? Trunk up, close the trunk right here, hit that, trunk comes down. Boom. And it locks on its own. Yes, sir. Come on, man. This vehicle is crazy. Um, One thing I want to tell y'all, if people are always wonder why it costs so much to work on foreign cars, stuff like that, and these high dollar vehicles, because it is not, these engines are not like the engines that you would, you know, in your in your Nissans, in your Chargers and stuff like that. These are like, it's a lot more compacted. You know what I mean? Like everything fits. So it's a lot of work got to be done to get to certain parts. That's their reason for charging a lot. Of, that's some of their reason for charging a lot of money. Let's just say that. Now, true enough, once we get that, once they get this car back in their hands, they can get to it easy. You know what I mean? But they going to tell you, that hey we gotta do this we gotta do that you know what i mean that's why they charge all this money which as you can see it is it's not as easy as other cars but it's not extremely hard for them like they know what they're doing you know what i'm saying but as y'all can see this is open right here nothing is missing out of there nothing is missing that is made like that to prevent turbo lag y'all can see those two turbos right there that's made purposely like that to prevent turbo lag you know what i mean so like i said this car has some amazing get up and go about it. Like, seriously, this car really get down. It really move, you know what I mean? I feel like they could have put, like you got the AMG right here. You know what would have been crazy? If it would have had like a AMG right here. You know what I mean? Like put AMG or something, put it, something special right here. Like this is a, pretty much a $200,000 car. Put something special right here instead of, I got this same thing. You know what I mean? I mean it's like, it's probably like a, a million people got this up under their hood. Like, put something special right there. Make it say AMG in, I don't know, everywhere I look at this vehicle, I need to feel, I just, like, you need to show me why I just spent $200,000, you know what I mean? But that wouldn't stop me from buying the car, trust me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna close the hood. Close the hood. Um, Now, that hood is not like a lot of the other up-to-date uh, 
with a foreign car like your high dollar car a lot of the hoods you don't they don't close like that you know what i mean it's a lot lit it's a lot quieter you know what i mean i did notice that about this but this one actually has the latch though like for example the bmw i reviewed didn't have a latch you just pull the the, the handle twice and it unlocks the hood and you just open it so therefore when you close it it's it's not latching so that's a lot of what that noise is the fact that it still has that latch in there like most other cars and stuff like that but um I'm gonna let y'all hear this exhaust on here before we actually get in and talk about the vehicle. Y'all gotta hear this exhaust, man. It's crazy. That exhaust is crazy. But am I right? Uh, is that what is it, Burma Burmeister? I was close. <laughs> I know I reviewed a vehicle with this before, so I knew what this was. But man, it is so many speakers in this car. Like I can't. I'm not gonna show y'all all the speak the speakers and stuff like that. I, I don't think this one has the massage seats. Um, I just think it's the memory right here. This is where you control the seats. But the um. The S, I want to say the S plus, the S plus comes comes with massage seats. You know what I mean? It massages, it massages this, massages that, it massages everything. The S plus does. I don't think this one has massage seats. Um, but you see, you got the AMG right here. You got the red seat belts in here. You know what I mean? Let you know you're dealing with some power. You know what I mean? You got a cup holder down here, which I kind of, I kind of, wow. Okay, so that's not purposely in there. But it's still a cup holder. But they bought another one to sit in here. I guess that don't look like that'll really hold anything to be honest. But um, I don't know what's gonna fit in there. That's rather small. But uh, like I said, all your seats, you control your seats. You got heated seats right here. You got um, you got the heated and cool seats. Ah, this is an amazing feeling. We are gonna close this door. Woo, yes sir. I like the way this feel, man. I like this cockpit right here, y'all. I really do. Um, flat bottom steering wheel with the AMG right here. Uh, all your controls right here. You can control a lot of stuff from right here. You got your home. You you can control a lot of stuff from right here. You know what I mean? Obviously, as you would expect in a car like this, you have the sunroof. Um, these seats are, are very comfortable. I'm going to start it up because it is um, hot in here, y'all. So, let go. Come on. Okay, where's the key? Uh, it's not starting. Okay, so we got, well, you know, it's not starting because I needed to tell y'all this anyway. When you sit in the, um, when you sit in the car, this automatically start blinking. You know what I mean? For you to start the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna just, you know, push the brake and start it. And it is started. It's up now. Now, as y'all can see, 12-point inch screen right here, 12-point inch screen right here. That's one thing I like about these new Benz is how they just got, it almost looked like this is all one screen when it's not. It's actually a gap right here, right in the middle, but it's 12.3 12, 12 inches on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Which everything right here is, like when you hit the gas, you see the RPMs and all that. Everything is, I, I, man, this is amazing, bro. I, I could see myself in this car. I'm not lying. I could see myself owning this, y'all, like for real. But the, uh, another thing I want to say, the um the the S Plus also has wood grain with Alcatara. You know what I mean? This don't have. This is just the you know the leather right here. But the other one has the Plus. It has Alcatara and a uh, wood grain right here and Alcatara right here. You know what I mean? But um, as you can see right here, this is where you can control the exhaust now. I'm not gonna get back out and do the exhaust again because I had already opened up the exhaust when I showed y'all the modes. Like the exhaust, when I showed y'all the exhaust, I had already opened it up. And right here, you can control where you can, right now it's in comfort, then you can turn that, now it's in sport. You know what I mean, as you can see right there. Turn it again, now you in sport plus. And y'all can hear the exhaust change. I don't know if y'all heard that, but you the exhaust change in each mode turn it again okay sport plus is as far as it go so if i turn it back down the exhaust is gonna go back down see if y'all can listen to it 
Can y'all tell? Let's go to comfort, and we're going to see if it go down again. So it really didn't go down again. So we're going to do that again, but this time I'm going to open up the exhaust. So open the exhaust. Now let's go to sport. Okay, let's go to sport plus. So you can, I mean, you can actually hear it. So this is pretty much just your dynamic controls, which you can do that all from right here too. It's just, you have it so you don't have to move your hands. If you're that person that drive with two hands on the wheel constantly, then you here you go right here. And then you have your pedal system, which is up. It says up right here, it says down right there. So you can't get it wrong. And this right here, you actually can control the radio, as y'all can see. You can control. This is almost like a touch screen, almost like a mouse pad. You know what I mean? Like a laptop. That's pretty much exactly what it is. So you can go up. I'm doing all it. Click it. You know what I mean? I'm doing all it. Light system. This actually has 64 lights. It's kind of, y'all can kind of see it right here. But this actually has like 60 Let's go down. Oh, let's go to ambient lighting. Let's go to color. Uh, let's go to. Uh, let's go to. Let's change it to yellow. Y'all see it change? Let's change it to color flash. So now it's just gonna pretty much just flash colors, which y'all can't really see because it's it's kind of. Let's go to fire red. I like that red in here. You know what I mean? That red in here with the, uh, let's see. So, this actually, I mean, I don't know if this one has, I'm, see, me personally, I'm familiar with the plus. So I don't know if it's a difference between the S plus and this, but this don't look to have no 64 colors, unless it's, oh, let's go. Unless it's more colors somewhere else. What's color mix? I think you can go. I think these are just all the basic colors. Let me see. Let's go to multicolor animation. Okay, we're going to take it out of it. I don't know, y'all. This one has a lot of colors. That's all you need to know. You know what I'm saying? Let's get out of here. Um... I love this right here. I love this look right here. Like this whole thing, this could have been carbon fiber. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it would have looked as good as this does with the silver and the, you know, all that just go. You know what I mean? All that goes together. You know what I mean? And you get space in the back seat. You get space in the back seat. Open this right here. You got, um, where's your, you got a, you got one USB cable. You got the, you got one, it only looks like one USB connection in here. That's, I thought it would be two. But you only have one connection right there, and you got a spot you can charge your, charge your phone right there. This is the one that controls the wing. Um, I'm going to let that down. You got to hold it. Okay. So you hold it to let that down. Now the wing is down. As y'all can see. Y'all see it's down now. So we're going to let it back up. Now hold it like that. Nance, Nance up. You know what I mean? We're gonna keep that up. We like that. Uh, volume, radio, stuff like that. Me and you, you can also control stuff from right here as well. But it's a lot better right here if you ask me. And this, this is where you have more. You have more of these right here. More connectors for your phone. Cigarette lighter, which I cannot believe. I hadn't seen one of those in a in a newer model vehicle, and I don't know how long. Um, but push that that clothes actually go with that right there i like it man this is very very dope you know what i'm saying i like it because your lights right here let me turn the lights on so y'all can see what i was talking about but this is what i was telling y'all with the dual lights it actually has dual lights as you can see it right there it says multi-beam multi-beam led right in there oh um, man this car is crazy Whew. i love this i love this car man i'm not gonna lie to y'all this car is crazy. Yes, sir. I don't really think I should show, I should have to show y'all the back seat, but uh, I got this seat led back to where I drive. You know what I mean? A lot of space. You know what I'm saying? I, I sit, I sit far back. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm good. 
You know what I mean? Now I'm only five. I'm five eight and a half, five nine. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm five ten. Sometimes five eleven, depending on who asks me. You know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of space back here. And you got the cup holders back here. Let me show y'all these back seats though, because these back seats are not like your average back seats. They actually like the front seats. It's kind of like bucket seats back here. You still get that same comfortable feeling as you would if you was in the front or the passenger seat. You know what I mean? You got your um, you also got charging ports back here. All right, I just say USB ports back here. You know what I mean? You got some right here. You got two cup holders right there. You got the little screen right there. A lot of space in here, man. But like I say, this is not a sedan. You know what I mean? This is this is not a sedan. This is a coupe. This is a four-door car on a coupe frame. You know what I mean? It's on a, a four-door car on a two-door car frame. Pretty much. So that's what makes this car look so amazing too. But listen to it. You can tell this car is tuned too. You can tell it's tuned, you can smell it. Like you can smell it, but that's what made the horsepower. This car has a tune on it and all this. So that's what makes it close to 900 horsepower. But uh, this is probably one of the fastest cars I done been in just off the feeling that I got um, from the other dude driving it. Shout out to Palomino Motors for letting me borrow this vehicle. You know what I mean? So if y'all need this vehicle, this vehicle is for sale. And I'm not gonna lie, it's $179,000. So if you got $179,000 and you want this vehicle, Come to Palomino Motors, ask for Brian, ask for Jimmy, ask for Kevin. You know what I mean? They'll take care of you. You can get this vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Tell them Hemi Life sent you. You know what I mean? They might give you a little discount. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you mention that. But let's go on and get in and drive it back. The Outbox pretty much is a device that plugs directly into your USB port in your phone. Then you directly plug it into the Outbox itself and it comes on like this. And it's pretty much a device that gives you access to be able to watch TV, watch apps, watch anything you can watch on your TV at home or anything you can watch on your phone. You can now access in your vehicle. Me personally, I like to watch rap battles. So I watch a lot of rap battles, but the, all of this works, you know what I mean? While the vehicle is in motion, although I do recommend you do not use it while the vehicle is in motion, but that is solely up to you. You know what I mean? You also have Amazon Prime. You know what I mean? Pretty much anything you can get, like I said, on your phone or whatever. You know what I mean? You can watch YouTube. You can watch Netflix. You can watch HBO Max. All of that. And all of this has, like, the full access. You can get split screen where you can watch. Have one video playing. Have another video playing. You know what I mean? But only one plays at a time. But... If you want to pause one, go back to another one. You got the split screen option where you can do that. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody needs this device. It's dope. Keep your kids occupied while they in the car, while y'all anywhere resting or you doing anything on a road trip. You know what I mean? You can have this on. You shouldn't watch it, but the family can watch it. You know what I mean? Whoever driving, I do not recommend y'all to pay attention <laughs> to the screen, but is a dope device. The app box LLC.com. Promo code is Hemi Life 44. Y'all, whoa, y'all do know I'm not supposed to be driving this vehicle, right? <clears throat> Put it in drive. I'm not supposed to be driving this vehicle. I got the exhaust open. I just want to hear the exhaust. Um, I got it in. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna go too crazy, man. I can't go too crazy because I'm really not even supposed to be driving this vehicle because it's an owner's car, but he actually let me uh he let me take it back to the dealership. So we're gonna probably do a little smile, a little hit right down this street right here. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We ain't gonna go too crazy though. Whew. Whew. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir, ski. Hey, man, we can't go too, we can't do nothing too crazy, man. You understand me? We can't do nothing too crazy. I just had to hit it one little time for y'all, man, uh, because like I said, this is somebody's car, so y'all gotta respect that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta respect that. And the dealership, they trust me with these vehicles. So, they trust me with these vehicles. 
So like I told y'all before, I'm a I'm a I'm a man of my word. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. I don't care who watching me and who not watching me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Bro, I love this car, bro. I love this. This is crazy. It handle this this steering on this car is amazing. Now, um, I forgot to show y'all one thing, which I don't think this vehicle. Has. I also think that that's the plus. But these some of these sixty threes. Now, I apologize because I'm not hundred percent sure about this one. Uh, but some of these sixty threes, they steering is different because the back wheels turn. You know what I mean? So y'all can look into that when you buying the vehicle. If you want that one, you know what I mean? The the steering turns a whole lot sharper and a whole lot better because the back wheels turn on. I, I believe the plus, the S plus. I want to say I'm not sure. This one hard though. This one hard, bro. I can't. <laughs> hey, I like this car, man. You it, man. I I love this car. I love this car. Make sure y'all come to Palomino Motors, man. Y'all get this car, man. This car is crazy. Sounds good, everything, man. <clears throat> this thing is crazy. I'm talking about like crazy, man. I'm gonna park it right back up in here. I don't know if I should drive it to the back. No, I'm not gonna take it to the back. I'm not gonna take it to the back. Uh, we're gonna put this joint in reverse like this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Put it in reverse like so. Keep it right there. Man, this car is hard. I'm a little too close to that, to that vehicle, that car over there. Y'all see that black car? I'm a little too close. We're gonna straighten it up. This car also has heads up display, which y'all should expect that. You know what I'm saying? You, you should expect that in this car. But come on, bro. This car crazy. And then you just got a little part push for the part. You know what I mean? What did I show y'all this? Oh yeah, that's manual. You can put it in manual or you can use the pedal shifter, stuff like that. You can take it out, put it back in drive. <sighs> Man. Bro. Y'all get a good look at that, man. This car is crazy. Come on, man. Come on now. But, hey, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay tuned to the next one because the next video, I'm actually, I'm going to have the same clothes on because I'm going to review another car right now. So, uh, it's kind of similar to this one, but it's, it's a different. So, y'all stay tuned for that one. But, um, make sure y'all like the video, share the video. We're going up all 2022. If y'all want dope reviews like this, y'all want other reviews now, I will review, like, regular cars like Nissan Altimus. I want to do everything. So if you got any any idea on a car that you want, you need to know something about it, you can come to my channel for that car. It don't have to be a $200,000 car, $300,000 car, $100,000 car. It can be whatever car is on the market, trucks, whatever. So I'm going to be doing all of that. You know what I mean? So y'all just support the channel. It, it helps the channel go a long way. If you rock with me, rock with the channel by sharing the videos, liking the videos and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all share, like, and subscribe, man. Till the next time, man. Y'all know how I end all my videos. In the meantime and in between time, to the next video, I'll let your boy out. Yes, sir.